Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to create an attractor to two curves and we're going to use the attractor one curve tutorial definition to create this. So I'm going to pull that out and if you guys didn't do it yet just refer to that tutorial to create this. And then I'm going to apply both curves by setting multiple curves. So now you can see it only sets to one curve and not both. So to, to change this I'm going to move this out of the way real quick and then go to logic, go to list and grab the dispatch and I'm going to dispatch the curves into to the button and then it should be able to split the curves into A and B and then I'm going to copy and paste this and each each or A will go into one of the C's and then B will go into the other one for the closest closest point um, button and we only need one circle and then we need to find the minimum between these two minimums. So I'll go to Scalar and go to Utilities and grab the uh, minimum. And then apply 1 to A and 1 to B. And then apply this to the, the radius. And now as you can see, now the attractors are working to both curves. And to get the to get the grid rectangular, just use just go switch out the grid hexog hexagonal. And, and pick the grid um, rectangular to get the other to get this type of this layout and you can't go further than three curves because you would need to dispatch one of the A and B again to split the curves into three and then copy and paste this whole mess again and then find the minimum between the, t the three and then the two and then the one uh, to, to create multiple attractors to mul I mean create multiple curves attractors you would probably need a VB net but we're not going to get into that the most we're going to do is two curves and that's how you, you create one and thanks for watching